Today we're going to apply for an EIN. And so once you get your LLC started, and if you have not done that yet and you need to know how, please visit our video that I will link below on starting your LLC in literally in less than 30 minutes. And so once you get that step complete, now you've got to have an EIN. So think of your EIN as the employer ID number. It's like a social security number for your business. This is also called a TIN, which is a tax ID number. And so you can do all of this online uh, through the website that we're gonna go through today. And so here's what we have. Again, employer identification number, that's your EIN. You can only do this from Monday through Friday from 7 to 10 Eastern. This is telling you about how do you determine whether you're eligible to apply for an EIN. And so then it goes on to show you how to understand the online application. You have to do this all in one sitting. So you can't do it and save it. You have to do it all in one session. And then you're going to submit your application. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So you click apply online, comes up with this warning, we click okay. Um, then you can check up here, it says, do you need an EIN or do you need a new one? I know I do need one, so I'm gonna go ahead and do begin application. Uh, for the business that I'm actually setting up today, it is an LLC, so we're going to go here, but this is where you would pick what type of entity you have. So if you're a sole proprietor, uh, then you're gonna pick it. If you're a partnership, then you're going to pick it. If you're a corporation, you're gonna do it. Um, now, this would not necessarily be if you have an LLC that's set up with an S Corp status, you are going to choose LLC. You're not going to choose the corporation. Corporation is if you actually set your business up originally as a corporation. Um, and I did do that one time uh, with our main business, but for the most part, the remaining businesses are LLCs with an S Corp status. And then we'll go to continue. Um, and it says you've chosen a limited liability company. It's going to tell you what all that means. Um, and then it tells you what it is not. Okay. So it is not incorporated and they do not file articles of incorporation. We just click continue. And then it's going to tell you how many members are asking how many members are in the LLC. If it is just you, then that means it's just you. It's a one. Um, and then so for this company, it is just me. So it is one. Please select the state in which it's physically located. I'm in South Carolina. So we click South Carolina and continue. And then it says, due to the number of members in your LLC, you're considered a single member LLC. Uh, and since you are a single member, you initially be classified as a disregarded entity for the purposes of filing a fax a federal tax return. If the only member is an individual, the income and expenses are reported on form 1040. And it's just giving you the schedules. Basically, all this is saying is that any money that's made through my LLC is going to be reported out to me on this form 1040. Uh, and then it says, if you do not wish to do this uh, classification as a disregarded entity, then you can file one of these particular forms. This is the form that we filled out when we want S Corp status is that form 2553. But for this one, I am, I am not going to be filing for S Corp status. I am going to just let it flow right on in to my personal income. All right. And then it's continue from here. And then it says, why are you requesting it? So this is a new business. So I'm going to do start a new business. Um, if you are hired employees and you already had a business, but maybe you didn't have an EIN or you had an EIN, but you're now hiring employees and now you need to go in and update the fact that you should be um, contributing to employer taxes. And uh, then you're going to do hired employees. Um, and then you've got banking purposes, change type of organization and purchase active business. So we started a new business business. So that's the one we're going with. And then you just got to complete all of this information. So I'm going to put my information in here and then I'm going to come back so that you can actually see uh, what the next step is. So I'm going to pause that piece for a minute. Okay, now it's just going to ask you for an address and it's saying, where is the LLC physically located? If you are a home-based business and you're working from home, then you're going to put in your home address right here. Uh, if you actually have an office location, you are going to put that here. What you can see is it has to be a U.S. address. It cannot be a P.O. box. So if you have your mail being delivered to a P.O. box, you're not going to be able to do that here. So I'm going to go ahead and fill that out and click continue. And it's going to ask us, what's the legal name of the LLC? And it says, must match the articles of organization. So for this one, and I don't have a DBA, but if you were doing business as something else, you would put that there. Uh, I am in Lexington County of South Carolina. 
um, state territory where they will or be, have been filed. That is also in South Carolina. And then the LLC start date, I want to say that was April, but let me check because I don't remember. Nope, it was June. So it's June 2024. And then we click continue. Um, now it's going to ask you some questions. It says, does your business own a highway motor vehicle with a taxable gross weight of 55,000 pounds or more? And that is no. However, um, once I get my Cadillac Escalade, I'm assuming I'll fit there. Does your business involve gambling and wagering? No. Does your business need to file Form 720 uh, excise tax return? No. If you ever need to know what these things are, y'all just click on them. Does your business sell or manufacture alcohol, tobacco, firearms? No. Do you have or do you expect to have any employees that will receive Forms W-2 in the next 12 months? Uh, and it just says Forms W-2 require additional filings with the IRS. Remember earlier when we said uh, one of the choices was, are you hiring employees? And if you were, that was a reason for you completing the EIN. This is the question that is going to come up for you on that one. I am not going to have employees on this one. So that answer is no. If you're filling this out and you say, well, I may have an employee in the next 12 months, but I'm not for sure. If you're not for certain, just don't put, just put no that you're not going to have employees. Um, and I say that from experience because I started a company and we put that we had employees and we did it because we were going to eat, make each one of the managers or members of the LLC a W-2 employee so that we could get paid. Um, but we never ended up getting that actually completed. And so it was a tax nightmare because we were supposed to fill out certain forms, even if you didn't run a payroll and we failed to do that. So if you know you're not going to have employees or you're not going to be able to process the payroll, just put no for now. And then we go to continue. And then it wants to know what does your business do? And so you can click on them and it'll give you more information. Um, I am choosing. Um, not really any of these. So we're going to go to other. And continue. And it says, please choose the one that best uh, describes your primary business. I am going with consulting. And then we're going to go continue. It says, do you provide op operating advice and assistance to businesses and other organizations? Uh, for this particular business, it is possible that I will be doing that. So I am going to go with yes. And we're going to put business coaching. And then we're going to do continue. It says, how would you like to receive your EIN confirmation letter? You can receive it online or you can receive it by mail. I am going to choose mine by online and I would recommend that you do the same thing. And then you click continue. It's going to go over all your information and then at the bottom it says submit. And then once you submit, it is actually going to go ahead and give you an, a, an, your EIN number so that you have. And it's also going to give you a letter that you can click on. And so you can save it. So you want to download and save your letter. And that took absolutely no time to do.